This video is how to uh, stop applications software from starting up at startup automatically. Um, software, mo most software created these days is created uh, and developed to start up at startup and the, the software companies do this in order to often get uh, extra advertising because their their software sometimes has advertising built in and when you when the when it pops up you see it and you see the advertising or they just want you to use their software and enjoy it so they want you to see it as much as possible and so they have it set as default to start up when the PC starts up this can cause slowness and cause your PC to be bogged down when you have several apps that start this way. If you have a couple, it's not a big problem, but oftentimes if you have 10 or 12, it can cause your PC to, you know, at least start real slow for the first five, 10 minutes. It could take forever. And then after a while, once they're all started up, it could help. It could, it could go back to normal, but it could also cause your PC to continue to be slow. Uh, uh, as a result of what I'm doing here is going to task manager, right click the taskbar, go to task manager, go to processes and you could see several processes in here started and running that may not be required to be running and these can cause slowness. So to stop them from starting up period at PC startup you would go to start uh, or this button here though the Vista button or the start button in XP you go to run the run command you type ms config and you go to the startup tab left clicking it and in here is where you can stop the uh, programs from starting up um, expanding this column here will uh, show you uh, the full uh, application name okay uh, it'll the manufacturer tab will show you the manufacturer and the command this command file uh, will show you where the file is uh, residing so if you have difficulty understanding what it is you're turning off, these other uh, tabs should help you with that. So I know, for example, I don't need this Synaptics pointing device driver installed on startup. I don't need Sun Java. The Java you'll see a lot. You'll see uh, Adobe a lot as well. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need a lot of these HP installs. My laptop is HP, so they're all built in. I don't need that. I don't need Nero. Nero is a big application and at startup it can really slow your PC down quite a bit. I don't want Microsoft updates really either. Uh, there you go. There's Adobe. See, I'm going to leave this one here. I'm not sure what it does, but I know it's Microsoft and uh, I don't. I just don't want to mess with that. I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to be. Oh, it's okay. Well, it's the sidebar. This is the Vista sidebar. So um, if I turn that off, it will not start the Vista sidebar and I like it at startup so I'm gonna leave that one uh, uncheck that, Let's grab I don't need Nero again Adobe again Windows installer I'm not sure what that one is Windows installer but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there and so now uh, I'm going to click apply so that the changes are saved. I'm going to click OK, which would really do the same thing. And here I get prompted to restart my computer. Um, I don't want to show this message at startup every time, the saying that I've made con system configuration changes. So I'm going to check that so that it doesn't pop up every time. But right now I'm not going to reboot because I don't want to. My PC is already up, it's running fine. So I'm going to exit without restarting. However, the next time I restart my PC, none of those applications in that drop-down list will start up and my PC will run a lot faster at startup. This, that is the video on how to use the command msconfig to speed up your machine and stop so many applications from starting up at, star, at startup. Uh, you can view this video at helpviavideo.com and thank you very much.